Hey, what's up everyone? It's Will here. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made 100,000 Robux in seven days. You guys heard that right? 100,000 Robux in seven days. Now, this method isn't really so-called a method. I kind of stumbled upon it. It's kind of those things where you just come against it and you get really lucky, right? You guys will understand what I'm saying in a second. Now, before you go and get into this video, I just want to say leave a like if you do enjoy videos like this. Thank you so much on the support. I know I have not been uploading a lot, but school has been really destroying me, but I only have like a week left. So I'm super, super excited about that. And with that said, let's just go get into the video. So basically, you guys know that there are limiteds on Roblox. And obviously, the people who set the value for the limiteds is called Rolimons. Okay, now Rolimons is the biggest limited trading site. And they basically set the values for these limiteds. Now, I am a limited trader, or I have a lot of limiteds. I haven't really been trading, but trading content will be coming soon. Because of school and everything, I just haven't really been trading a lot. I haven't had the time. Trading takes time. And so what I have is a bunch of limiteds sitting in my account. Now, what Rolimons did, who are the people who set the value for your limiteds, right? Some of your favorite limiteds might be like Valkyrie Home, for example, right? So Valkyrie Home is... 200,000 Robux value on Rollymons. And basically, Rollymons set the value for these items. And that's basically kind of like a quick explanation of what, you know, Rollymons and what they do, right? So basically, Rollymons determines these values by a wrap to value chart for most items. So this chart basically determines how much wrap an item needs for a specific amount of value. So for example, one of the great items that we all know and love, perfectly legitimate fedora is 11,000 value. Now, if you go ahead and look at the wrap to value chart, you will see that 11,000 value, you need 8,600 wrap. Now, perfectly legitimate fedora is not an 8,600 wrap, so that's a little concerning, but still, that's just a quick rundown on how they determine the value. So how did this make me 100,000 Robux, you may ask? Now, rolling mods actually changed the wrap to value chart so i'm gonna pop up a screenshot of the old one up on the screen right now and i'm gonna pop one up of the new one so basically what happened i know i'm a little late on this about two weeks ago so they changed it basically where items can have less wrap but the same amount of value still compared to the old chart now how this affected me and a lot of other traders is it basically just kind of boosted up the limited values a little more right basically kind of inflating the economy a little bit not as bad as like christmas but just like a tiny little inflation to kind of you know spark some life into the economy don't let it completely get destroyed because a lot of items were not doing well before that so what happened was if you go look at my inventory now on rollymods.com we can see that my value was 500,000 robux on april 30th okay april 30th this was my inventory ice valk i believe i dropped a video buying it if you guys want to check out that video i'll leave it down below in the description and the comments but i bought it it was 150,000 value at the time i do believe and you guys can see here we had 500,000 value then so let's go ahead here to may 7th now so that will be friday may 7th and then boom my value goes up 100,000 it went from 500,000 to 601,000 so that is 100,000 in a value you guys heard that right we easily made that now basically what happened was ice valve now is like 220,000 robux it just rose in their 10k recently it's been doing super super well so now if we go to the 16th actually you guys can see that i've jumped again to 667,000 value now you guys are probably like will are you hacking are you scamming someone what's going on right like i said basically a lot of the limiters are doing good now that rolling mods has changed the wrap to value chart and my inventory has been given a little life to it and we've been making easy robux so that's how i was kind of saying like you can't really predict this to happen happen unless you work at Rollymons. You just can't really predict something like this to happen. It's just kind of one of those things that if, you know, you stumble into it, you win a lot and you profit a lot. This did usually profit everyone who had valued limiteds in the economy, even non-value limiteds. A lot of the smalls went up in prices as well to kind of adjust to the bigger item, valued items raising. And so that's really, really nice. So basically I made a free 100,000 Robux over that actually by just doing nothing. I didn't complete a single trade either, guys. I literally was studying for homework, studying for finals, studying for tests. I don't even think I played a single Roblox game. It doesn't really matter. But point is, I made 100,000 Robux and I just want to tell you guys how. Now, I'm going to give you guys some tips for you traders out there because I know a lot of you guys who watch my content are traders on how you guys can actually go ahead and make some Robux from this method as well. Um, this is what I used to do when I started trading and it really, really does help. So basically, you want to go for items that you know will raise, right? So, so let's say an item like perfectly legitimate, for example, right? Perfectly legitimately Fedora, whatever it's called, is 11,000 value. So let's say it's usually 11,000 value and you know that it will go back to 11,000 thousand value if it drops like it's been doing that a lot what you can do when it goes to ten thousand value you can get like five of them or something wait for it to go up and then trade them off and that's an easy like five thousand value profit um or what you can do is if you run into one of these you know where rolling mods adjusts the wrap to value chart which they don't do really often you can actually just you know get a bunch of value items let's say you're not trading anymore right get a bunch of i guess high demand items and just wait for rolling mods to mess with the charts and you'll be making bank loads of robux okay now obviously you probably make more you know actually trading but still like a hundred thousand robux in seven days i don't think anyone is completely 
contemplating right now. Obviously, you know, this is one of those things where you need like a lot of value for it to actually work. Like if you have like 20,000 value, the most you'll make from this type of, you know, jump is maybe like 3,000 value profit or something. So if you guys have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section. I have a bunch of videos coming at you guys. I'm ready to get back on the grind. I'm super, super excited for that. This summer is going to be an absolute ride. Before we go to end up this video, make sure you guys go ahead and join my Roblox group. It is hashtag the greats. I'll leave a link down below to the description for that group. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you all. Peace out, everyone. Comment down below video ideas. Bye-bye.